Hello Metal Tech Team brothers and sisters You are probably not aware that I have been suffering in silence with 26 months of harassment, abuse, hate messages, emails, uh, etc. At the moment justice has been served to a guy called Nick Doyle who is a detectorist from, from Blackpool. I have a passion for my hobby and I love going out detecting and finding history. I don't make money out of it. It costs me money in equipment, GoPro, cameras, detectors, drone, and I spend a lot of hard work editing, filming, writing the script for those videos in the hope that people will gain knowledge, my experience, and get some sound advice. Let me start from the beginning. My ex-friend started their harassment and abuse 26 months ago, which I had to suffer in silence. They were sending accusations about me, which the police found to be not true, and sending the harassment and hate messages to my personal messaging Facebook groups and YouTube channel. They were sending hate messages, videos, photographs, hate ca cartoons, lies to detecting people, groups and organisations. One of them called me on my mobile and gave me some verbal abuse and said that I'm going to get sorted. At the time, I didn't know what, what he was talking about, but I do now. Now, it all kicked off when, unfortunately, I had found a gold ring in a field, came back, so I just got my brand new GoPro, I started editing, and downloaded what I thought was finding the ring. Unfortunately, I didn't do it properly. I had to go back to the field the next day and re-record it. Edited the piece and unfortunately I uploaded the wrong clip and it was the clip where I put the gold ring in the hole. My ex-friends were very quick to download the, the mistake I made on the video and stream it round the country to organisations, detecting groups and anybody else who wanted to listen to try to discredit me. It is still circulating to this day. And I urge you to not take any notice, report the source to me so I can pass it on to the police. Nick Doyle got such information from the internet, which obviously my ex friends have been passing all around the internet, and decided to do his own campaign of hate. He was harassing, passing hate messages for me, towards me, detecting groups, detecting organisations, including my friends and family. It all came to a head when I went detecting on Blackpool Beach with some friends. And this angry guy came rushing over and gave me a mouthful of abuse for 20 minutes. I tried to reason with him and explain what he's been doing and what he's been saying is not true. Didn't take any notice. Ruined my day for detecting. Went home, realising this guy Nick Doyle, detectorist from Blackpool, I'd had enough of him. 26 months of this is enough, it's just enough. I reported the matter to the police. They had downloaded 24 pages of emails and harassment to me and my family and friends. They interviewed Nick Doyle, presented him with the 24 pages of abuse over a six week period. 
and I got into the police officer who sent me a text. He broke down and cried. I was very upset because such much aggravation, especially when the police told him what he'd been putting online was not true. And decided to take Nick Doyle to court. The police take this now as a serious crime and are continuing with their investigations with other people. The offences that Nick Doyle was charged with were harassment without violence, common assault, so sending false information by public electronic communication network to cause annoyance, inconvenience or anxiety. The sentence he received was 12 months community order, £100 fine, £85 court fees, £95 surcharge, restraining order not to indirectly or directly contact me whatsoever. Now, Nick Doyle, detectorist from Blackpool, has a criminal record. The courts sent me a copy of his sentencing, which is all there. I just received a, another letter uh, from the courts about Nick Doyle that if he does contact me indirectly or not stick to his sentencing he is liable to go to prison up to five years and this is the letter I just received the other day so the police are continuing their investigations and more court cases will follow. If you receive any information relative to me, videos, photographs, wherever it may be, please forward it to me and I'll pass it on to the police. So far, the instigators of this crime uh, have not been caught. But like I said before, the police are still are investigating and, and collating their evidence. Hopefully, we'll bring them to court for their crime. I just would like to thank the police for their help with the court case and their great support. They have spent a lot of hard work putting this together and I very much appreciate it. If you've been suffering with abuse, harassment and hatred, I urge you not to suffer in silence. Do not delete it. But save it, print it out, and make a folder of it, and present it to the police. And they will look into this to see if there's a court case dancer. I am hoping that you will join me in trying to stop this kind of behaviour in our hobby. I found strength in my passion for metal detecting and didn't want to, to let them beat me down. I stayed positive, laughing and joking and try to make my videos exciting and interesting for everybody. Please could you pass this video on? Thank you.